Hi, friends. Thanks for joining us. My name is Cam. This is Val. Hi, guys. We are super excited because today we're going to worship God and we're going to learn about His Word together. We're going to start by singing a song to worship Jesus. And remember, there are lots of ways we can worship Jesus. We can sing, we can close our eyes or lift our hands, or we can have a dance party. Awesome. I'm excited to worship. So friends, Jade and Adam are going to lead us in the song. Mm -hmm. So let's all stand up and worship together. when we worship him. Thank you for singing with us. Yeah, and friends, today it's a super exciting day because we are starting a brand new series on faith. Oh, we are? Faith? So faith, like when, when Noah was faithful by building an entire ark before the flood, even though he had literally never seen a drop of rain before? Exactly. Noah was kept safe when he had faith in God and built the ark. That's cool. Mm -hmm. So So one thing I'm confused about, what exactly is faith? Great question. Faith is having complete trust or confidence in someone or something. And there's actually a verse in the Bible that tells us what faith is. Well, I could have guessed that. What's the verse? All right, I'll say the Bible verse once slowly, and then we can all say it together. And I like to add in a couple of motions to help me remember it, okay? You guys ready? Okay, I'm gonna try to learn the motions. Sounds great. Maybe just watch me the first time. Okay. okay. Faith is being sure of what we hope for. It is being sure of what we do not see. Hebrews 11, 1. Awesome. I think I got the motions. Right. I think I memorized them. Okay, do you want to try it with us? Yes, let's do it. Okay, everyone ready? All right, here we go. Faith is being sure of what we hope for. It is being sure of what we do not see. Hebrews 11, 1. Great job! Uh -huh. Yeah! Did it. Oh, oh hey, the video 
video. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi, friends. Today, we are starting a new series on faith. Mm -hmm. That's right. We already learned that the Bible says that faith is being sure of what we don't see, but that's still a little bit confusing to me. How are we supposed to have faith if we can't see? Hmm. I think I know a way I can show you, but we'll definitely need our snapping fingers to help us. Hmm. I'm starting to pick up on this theme. I love snapping fingers. Let's do it. All right. Everyone, let's warm up our snapping fingers. Ready? One, two, three. Whoa, what, why can't I see? Because I have a surprise for you. <gasps> really? Oh, awesome, I love surprises. But, but wait a minute, is it like a good surprise or is it a bad surprise? Well, kind of both. I brought donuts. Donuts? I love donuts. But, but, but hang on, how is that like a good surprise and a bad surprise? I'm not getting that part. Well, there's a catch. One plate of donuts is covered in chocolate. Nice. And the other is covered in mustard. Oh, mustard on a donut. Val, why would you even do that? Uh, well, it's an exercise in faith. See, you can try and guess on your own, or you can get Trust Me to guide you to the chocolate donuts. Oh, okay. Well, I love a challenge, and I'm yeah. definitely going to try it on my own. Wait. So. Oh, are you sure you want to do that? I, I think so. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. I have. Eh. I have my nose. Maybe I can at home smell you can out. shout out which plate he should eat. So I think one is going to be really yummy, and the other. This is the mustard. This is definitely the mustard. That is gross. Okay. Hmm. Chocolate. Totally chocolate. Are you there sure, or do you want to try trusting me to tell you which one is the chocolate donut? I'm sure. I have faith in my nose. Okay. Okay. Go yep, ahead. I feel the chocolate. All right. Here we go. Oh! Oh! Gross! Oh. That was oh. a mustard. Oh! Grossest thing I've ever seen. Oh! Ew! It's so horrible. Oh okay. my goodness. Well, if you want to try trusting me to lead you to a chocolate donut, you might be able to get that ucky flavor out of your mouth. I need to cleanse my palate. Okay. Are you sure you trust me? Oh. I think so. Okay, here, grab that one right there. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. Ah. Uh, I promise it's covered in chocolate. It's gonna taste much better. You promise? I promise. You can trust me. Okay, I have faith in you. Okay. Mmm. Mm. Is that better? Much better. Good. Mm -hmm. I'm glad. See, that's what it's like when we have faith in God. He always leads us to the best choice in our lives. And when we have faith in Him, even though we can't see Him with our eyes, or we might not be able to see how things are going to work out, we can always have faith in God because He can always see. God is always good, and He always wants what's best for us. Hmm. Having faith in God is awesome. It sure is. I'm glad I had faith in you. Yeah. This was, this was a pretty good lesson, but the mustard was horrible. Yeah, it so did look good. Please don't ever ask me to eat mustard on a donut again. Well, I did offer to lead you. That's a good point. I should have had faith in you from the get-go. That's okay. We all have to learn lessons sometimes. Well, are we ready to get this mess cleaned up? Because you look like you could use a napkin. I really could use a napkin. Okay, let's uh, put this donut down and let's snap this stuff out of here. So on the count of three, one, two, three. It worked! Our donuts are cleaned up! And so is your face, by the way. <laughs> and I can see again. So, That's important. Val, other than Noah, are there any other stories in the Bible about having faith? Yes! The Bible is full of stories about faith. In Genesis 15, God tells a man named Abram that he's going to have many kids. Hmm. How many kids did God tell Abram he was going to have, exactly? Well, God took Abram outside and told him to look up to the sky. And he told Abram that he was going to have as many kids as there are stars in the sky. That is a lot of kids. It sure is. That's like millions and billions and trillions. So did God's promise come true? Did Abram actually have as many children as the stars? Because that is a massive grocery bill. Well, when Abram was 99 years old, he still didn't have any kids with his wife, Sarai. But God said that his promise was still true. And then he changed their names to Abraham and Sarah because he said they would be the father and mother of many nations or many people. Wait, so God changed their names and told them that they were gonna have many, many children even though Abraham was 99 years old? Yep. 
Okay, there's no way that was true. They were way too old to have kids. That's a great grandpa age, not even a grandpa age. That's not a dad age. It does seem impossible. And they even laughed when God told them because they thought it was crazy too. But Abraham had faith in God because he trusted him and knew God's promises are always true. And guess what? What? They had a baby the next year and they named him Isaac. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. So we can have faith just like Abraham because God is always good and his promises are always true. Yep, that's it. Wait a minute, okay. I thought that God said they were going to be the father and mother of many people. They were, because after Isaac was born, he had lots of kids, and they had lots of grandkids, and then they had lots of kids who had lots of kids. And 42 generations later, Jesus was born from their family too. Whoa, that is a lot of kids and that is so cool. I know, and not only can we have faith like Abraham, by knowing that God is always good and his promises are always true. But we can have an even greater faith by having faith in Jesus. Mm, right, because through faith in Jesus as our savior, we can be forgiven of all our sins and we can live with God forever. That's exactly it. That is amazing. Yeah. Hey, I have an idea for something we can make to remind us of today's story. Oh, I love it. What is it? Stars in a bottle. Oh, cool. To remind us of God's promise that Abraham was going to have as many children as the stars. And how Abraham had faith to believe it was true. That sounds like a great idea. Do we need any supplies? Yeah. We're going to need an empty bottle, okay. baby oil, mm -hmm. water, mm -hmm. food coloring, and glitter. Okay. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Snapping fingers? <laughs> yes, indeed. All right. Let's snap our supplies in on the count of three. Okay. Ready? One, One two, two, three. three. <gasps> our supplies! Snapping fingers worked again. They always do. Mm -hmm. So now that we have our supplies, what do we do first? All right. So first, we're going to take our plastic bottle. Okay. And we're going to fill the bottom half with baby oil. Oh, baby oil. Okay. Yes. So you might want to use your funnel. Okay. That's a good idea. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, funnels are really cool. They are really Ooh. cool. It helps make sure that we get it in the bottle and not on the floor or on the table. That's or important. Maybe on a donut if you have a donut around. Cam, would you like to try a donut that had baby oil on it? No, that'd be even worse than mustard. <laughs> it's really slippery. I bet you could put this on a slipping slide. That sounds awesome. Yeah, that'd if you be had fun a to try. super long slip and slide, and then a ramp at the bottom, and then a pool behind the ramp, that would be amazing. It sounds like fun. It uh -huh. also sounds like you should have some good insurance and some band aids nearby. Good idea, Val. All right, is that good? Do you think? I think you should do a little bit more. Oh, okay. And then I, we'll be there. Put it on now. That looks good. Okay. Yep. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So now we're gonna add glitter. Okay. I love glitter. Awesome. Here you go. Thank so you. So we're just gonna cover the baby oil with the glitter. Okay. You're gonna want to use a different funnel, otherwise it's gonna get sticky. Okay. So I don't put the whole bottle of glitter. Not in. the whole bottle. But no, I really no. love glitter. No, don't use the whole bottle. Okay. Is that is that, that should good? be good. Okay. Yeah. You just okay. want to cover the top. Okay. Okay. Now what? All right. So now we want to add a little color. Oh. So we're gonna mix food coloring oh, and okay. water. Is this that? Yes. That's okay. food coloring. Yep. So you can use any colors you want. We are gonna use purple and blue, and we're gonna just start with a few drops of each just to see what happens. Look at how, that's awesome. So beautiful. Yeah. I love blue, so cool. and I love purple. It's oh my look goodness. Like the galaxy. Yes. Yeah, look at that. Wow, that's cool. cool. So stir it up, yeah. Oh my gosh. Look at that, wow. that's so cool. The color is awesome. Oh my gosh, it's almost like it's too dark. It should be okay, I think. I think okay. the glitter will really bring out so? the color. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah, let's try it. All right, so I pour it in here? Yep, let's go ahead and use your funnel. Don't quite fill it all the way up to the top, okay? Okay. Very good. Oh, you're right. Yeah. It mixes great with that baby oil. Wow. That's awesome. That's one of the coolest things I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. That's so cool. Okay, now what? All right, so now we're gonna put the cap on the bottle. Okay. Now, if you have an adult, and a hot glue gun, you can have your parent um, maybe put some hot glue on the inside of the bottle cap oh. and qu kind of quickly put it on the bottle, close it, and that'll keep it nice and tight so it won't explode open. Otherwise, we're ready to go. 
All right. So now you can shake it oh. to see the stars moving around. Okay. <gasps> yeah. Wow, the glitter looks just like stars in the night sky. That is awesome. That's so cool. And to think that Abraham had that many children, <laughs> or even more. That's a lot. That's amazing. Now, Kim, I have a question. Can I drink this? No, oh. you definitely cannot drink that. Oh, okay. Absolutely not. That's cool. But you can look at it, All and right. it's awesome. I love this. It definitely reminds me to have faith in God, like Abraham did, and to believe that God's promises are always true. Yeah, that's awesome. You did a great job making it. Thank you. That was such a fun activity. I agree. And friends, I made a brand new journal that's for this month's video. So cool. Well, thank you. Yeah. So instead of a thankful journal, I made a faithful journal because we're learning how we can have faith in God's faithfulness to us. That's a great idea. Thank you. So after this video, you guys can make your own faithful oh. journal and you can draw or write about something that yeah. you had to use faith for. For instance, I drew myself in bed oh, wow. because I'm scared of the dark oh. and I'm having faith that God will keep me safe at night and that I can have pizza for lunch. Yum. There are so many ways that God is faithful to us. I know. Well, for this week's challenge, take some time to talk with your family about the promises that God has made to you and practice using faith to believe that they're true. If you're not sure where to start, the Bible is a great place because it's full of God's promises. That's true. Some of the promises from the Bible are that God is always good yes. and he'll never leave us. Yeah, amen to that. Well, thanks for joining us, friends. We hope you have a great week and we can't wait to see you next time. Bye. Bye.